guys so it has been quite a long time since the last time I did an episode of this nice cloudy day out now I'm gonna do another walkthrough of the system because since the first one I did at the beginning of the year a lot of stuff has changed for example over here we have the corner strip wasn't there originally and the entire seventh zone in the back has changed filming this with my galaxy s7 edge quad hd the freaking autofocus is so fast all right anyway There we are. Nothing's changed on this zone. All of them are the same. I'm actually contemplating replacing that nozzle right back there with a uh, MP1000 360 degree, because there's a 2000 on it right now. We're gonna go ahead and go over to zone two now. Here it is. Nothing's changed with zone two either. We have a little bit of overspray. Never got around to fixing that. But as you can see, we have the two 360 degree heads right there. And there's another one around back here. As you can see right there. That's a MP1000. 360 degree. I'm trying to make sure I'm not covering any mics right now. Um, but yeah. Pretty much all there is to zone 2. Those three. And then that one. And that's my room right there. But yeah. I'm going to go on to zone 3. Alright now for those of you who watched my uh, season from last year. Zone three is now over here. Do we have another broken valve? Possibly, let's see. Hit start. Oh, there we go, all right. MP rotator 3000, 92 to 10 degree. Set on about a 90 degree arc. As you can see, it goes pretty far. Now, there's two more on this zone. We have the uh, what's it called here? The MP1000 360, which I actually might move or cap because if you look, there's two right next to each other. The one under the bush and that one, which we're actually going to be taking these bushes out and finally get to see what's under that one. That'll be fun. So yeah, that's zone three. There used to be one behind the bush early on. But, I have capped it, you can see it right there, 
So yeah, well, let's go on to zone four now. We have a low head drainage issue with this. Not really an issue, but it's there. This is one of the zones that's changed this year. As you can see, there's no longer a sprinkler here because we moved it here. This is a corner strip. I think it's the right corner strip. And as you can see, it gets the job done. There's another corner strip on the other side of this gate here. Here we go. Left corner. That's right, the rainbird nozzle is no longer there because I don't know if you can tell, but this one doesn't go over the fence anymore. That one still does a little bit, but there's not really anything I can do about that, so it's just going to have to stay like that. But that's okay. That's a MP2000, 210 to 270 degree, as you can tell by the green. It's on a Surepop body, I think, from Rainbird. This is on a PRS 30 head. So yeah, there's that. Zone 5 has the maxi paw, which is what we're going to show next. But as you can see all the way down to the corner, there are two inch bodies with MP2000 92 210 degree nozzles. Gonna try to make it to the maxi paw. As you can see, this one hits the trampoline a little bit. We have a MP2000 92 10 degree back there. A uh, side strip right here. And in the front, this is the last zone to have ones in the front. We have another corner strip, which we installed earlier this year. As you can see right there, trench goes all the way over to this one where it's teed off of. And this is another standard one. And there is another one down here. Don't have the low pressure problem anymore, which is good. Because I capped one of them off in the back and put it in the maxi paw, which apparently uses a lot less water than the old one that was there. And for those curious, I do still have the Buckner IND one, I'm not getting rid of it. But yeah, there's the maxi paw right there. Ooh. And there you go. Let's go on to zone six now. The last two zones are all in the back. And as you can see right here, 
We have the original MP3000 that was installed. And we have that one. We have these all over the system pretty much. And we have the PGJ. Oop. Get a shot of that. Yeah. Or I did that last summer 2015 when I had it spray my Galaxy S5. Not gonna do that today. Just because I don't feel like it. Get a shot of it though. 0.75 GPM nozzle on it. And there's two other MP2090 210 degree over there. So let's move on to the funnel zone, zone seven. Zone 7 was the biggest project we did this whole year. All four heads are now flush with the fence with 180 degree nozzles instead of 360 like they used to have. I'm gonna try and run up and get a shot of this one without getting too wet. All of them are like this. PRS 40 bodies with this nozzle. MP 2000, 90 through 210 degree. All the way down the line. This project took, uh, I don't know how many days. I think it was about uh, three or four. I did a video on it, link is in the description or the uh, top right corner. So yeah. You can see all of them. And there they go. Alright guys, so as you can tell, hoodie weather is finally back. I'm very happy about that. Not sure how long it's going to last until the next uh, heat wave comes, but that is going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. Why the freak is there a spring sitting here? Whatever. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Next project we're probably going to be doing is replacing this controller with either a Hunter Pro C or maybe an X-Core. Sometime next year, maybe. Oh.